Hi kindergartners, I miss you so much already, but I'm glad that we are staying home, keeping healthy, and washing our hands a lot. Since we can't be together in the classroom right now, I thought it would be fun to start this channel to share with you some new stories and some math and literacy lessons to help with your learning at home. For today's first story, we have Agent Lion by David Soman and Jackie Davis. I'm going to try the best to see the words and show you the pictures. Agent Lion was hard at work when suddenly the phone rang. It was Miss Chief from headquarters, and since Miss Chief was the chief, it had to be a very important call. Agent Lion, she said, Miss Flamingo's cat Fluffy is missing and it's up to you to find him. Agent Lion knew that he was the very best detective for the job. He buckled his helmet hopped on his bicycle, and was on his way. He took the absolute most direct route. It was really hard to see on camera, but he actually took a very long. Route. Two hours later, Agent Lion was knocking on Miss Flamingo's door. Hello, Miss Flamingo. I am Agent Lion from the Super Detective Agents Agency, and I'm here to find your cat. First, I will need a description of Fluffy. Does Fluffy have a trunk? No, Fluffy does not have a trunk, said Miss Flamingo. I see, said Agent Lion. Does he have antlers? No, she replied. Fluffy's a cat. Wings? asked Agent Lion. Miss Flamingo was getting frustrated. This is Fluffy, she said. Fluffy looks like a cat because he is a cat. Now that Agent Lion was clear on what Fluffy looked like, he needed to start looking for clues. First, he checked the living room. Then he checked the bathroom. Now I must check the refrigerator, said Agent Lion. Miss Flamingo was confused. Agent Lion, why on earth are you looking for Fluffy in the refrigerator? I am not looking for Fluffy, he said. I am looking for jelly donuts. It had been a tiring morning and Agent Lion needed a snack. Once Agent Lion concluded that Fluffy was not in the apartment, he thought to look on the roof, since everyone knows that cats like to fly kites. No one moved, said Agent Lion, coming to a halt. I think we found him. Agent Lion, said Miss Flamingo, that is a pigeon. Ah, but look closely, said Agent Lion. That pigeon could be Fluffy in disguise. Miss Flamingo was trying to be patient. Agent Lion, caps do not wear pigeon disguises, she explained. Agent Lion decided it was time to move on to the next stage of the investigation. Let's interview our first witness. They went to Mr. Wombat's apartment and knocked on the door. Hello, said Agent Lion. We are looking for Fluffy. Have you seen him? No, answered Mr. Wombat. I have not seen Fluffy. I've been here baking a cake. Agent Lion's eyes widened. A cake, you say? I love cake. Is it a birthday cake? An ice cream cake? Is it my favorite? A jelly donut cake? Come on, Agent Lion, urged Miss Flamingo. We must keep searching for Fluffy. Wait, I have one more very important question, said Agent Lion. What time will the cake be ready? Agent Lion and Miss Flamingo walked down to the next floor and stopped at a suspiciously quiet door. Cats love quiet, said Agent Lion. Maybe Fluffy's here. Ding dong, ding dong. Shh, said Miss Hippo. My babies are asleep. 
Sorry to interrupt you, said Agent Lion. I am looking for Fluffy. May I look around? Okay, agreed Miss Hippo, but you have to be very quiet. Do not worry, whispered Agent Lion. I am the best at being quiet. Oh, look, a tuba! Cats can't resist a good polka. Whoop, papa! The babies blinked their eyes, and then... What do you think's gonna happen? Wah, wah, they cried. Oh no, you woke the babies. Agent Lion, I think it's time for us to go, said Miss Flamingo. What? I can't hear you, said Agent Lion. I said we should leave, Miss Flamingo yelled. Yes, Agent Lion yelled back. It's much too noisy in here for a cat. Agent Lion thought it was time to get to the bottom of things. They took the elevator down to the lobby. It was busy with everyone coming up, coming and going, but they did not see Fluffy. Agent Lion decided to check the mail room. Cats love getting mail, he said. Not here, not here, here. Have you finally found Fluffy? asked Miss Flamingo. No, replied Agent Lion. I did, not, I did not find Fluffy, but I did find my favorite magazine, Jelly Donut Digest. Agent Lion, I've had enough, announced Miss, announced Miss Flamingo. The investigation is over. I am going home. You are welcome to join me for a cup of tea if you like. Agent Lion sadly followed her back to her apartment. Miss Flamingo went straight to the kitchen to boil water. Agent Lion rearranged the couch pillows. He felt terrible and was beginning to doubt if he really was the very best detective after all. But then the pillow said, Purr. Wait a minute, said Agent Lion. You are not a pillow. You are fluffy. You did it, Agent Lion, said Miss Flamingo, skipping into the room. You found fluffy. How can I ever thank you enough, she asked. Agent Lion humbly replied, I was just doing my job. But if you insist. Jelly donuts do go particularly well with tea. The end. I hope you enjoyed Agent Lion today. Look for the worksheet questions to go along with the story, and I will see you later. Bye.